How's it going YouTube? Today I wanted to chat a bit about some of the products that I use whenever I start out on a new fitness program. Now some of these products that I'll be talking about are more geared towards those who are trying to gain some weight. They'll be packed with calories, you know, protein, carbs, so they might not be for everybody. However, in the end, if your true goal is to gain some weight by putting on some lean muscle mass, then these products might be useful for you. And like I said, these are products that I have been using throughout the years to help myself gain some weight. The products that I'll show you might not always be the exact brands that I buy. It was just a matter of getting these on sale, which is why I'm talking about these ones today. But overall, I really just want to share with you guys what kind of products and supplements I use on a daily basis to help myself gain some weight. So let's get started. So creatine is one of those products that I use whenever I start out on a new workout routine. Creatine can get mixed reviews. Some people love it. They say it's a great way to put on a couple extra pounds when you first start out. Whereas others feel it's just a matter of putting on water weight and it's kind of a way of cheating when you first start out. To me, it's really just a matter of preference. If you want to try it out, go ahead. But like I said, personally, I like using it just because I feel it gives me that boost of energy when I first start out and a bit of confidence, I guess you could say as well. I'm not going to lie about that. And I know they have other types out there too, such as like the micronized creatine, which is good for those who don't want all those grains at the bottom of their shaker cup when they're taking it. And I know they also have pill form for those who don't really want to taste the creatine when they're drinking it. Those can be a bit more expensive, so it's really just a matter of doing your research and finding the product that's right for you. I went with this one just because it was 13 bucks at the local nutrition store and I didn't want to spend too much money at the time. And so far, I've been taking it for about two days. I've taken about 20 grams a day just so I can get some creatine loading. And if you don't know what creatine loading is, it's pretty much just taking a bit more creatine at the start. Usually for the first six days, you want to take about 20 grams of creatine. And after that, you can just take about five grams a day for the next 30 days and you should be fine. So those are my thoughts on creatine. Let me know what you think. Do you think it's cheating or do you think it's a good supplement for those to take when they first start out? What do you think? Alright, so next up we have our pre-workout explosion. This one here is just a generic brand I bought down at the local nutrition shop. There are plenty of other better brands out there, but I just grabbed this one because, like I said, it was the cheapest one at the time. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what pre-workout supplements do, you take them about 30 minutes before you work out, and it'll give you a good boost of energy while you work out. If you want an idea of what it feels like, imagine taking about 5 cups of coffee before you work out. This one also has beta alanine in it, which most of these energy supplements have. Beta alanine is supposed to help your muscles with increased endurance and focus and intensity when you work out. It is also an interesting supplement because after you take it, you'll get these weird tingles all over your body that you might not be used to the first time you take it. And with these, you have to be a bit careful with how you take them because you have to assess your tolerance first. This one here says you take one scoop before your workout, but for me, when I first start out, I would usually take about half a scoop for the first couple days just so I can get used to it. And the actual serving size for this one is two scoops, so you want to slowly build up to that just so you don't freak your body out because if you take too much of this at one time you can feel like you're having a panic attack your heart can start really beating pretty fast which is kind of scary so you don't really want to do that and it also says on the back that you don't want to take more than two scoops in a 24 hour period just because there's so much caffeine and other supplements in it that you don't want to freak your body out so for me i take about one scoop and one cup of water before every workout and i do feel a difference as opposed to when i don't take this before a workout so if you feel like you could benefit from having additional energy during your workouts be sure to check out these pre-workout supplements and look for one that has beta alanine in it. So lastly, I want to chat about these two products together because they're both high in protein and they also are very good for those who are trying to put on some extra weight. What I have here on this side is your regular protein. This one is another off-brand generic protein that I bought at the local nutrition shop. Nothing too special, but it's still very good because it has 34 grams of protein and it also has 155 calories, which is great for those who want to use it as a, you know, a supplement for their diet. You can have a scoop of this every morning and night with some milk that'll help add on some additional calories and protein from the milk. And all in all, it's just a great supplement to have. It's great for those who are trying to gain some weight. This product is great for those additional calories you're just trying to reach in addition to your your daily meals that you have. Now what we have over here is your high protein gainer. This one is going to be packed with a lot of calories, a lot of protein, and a lot of vitamins and minerals that you need on a daily basis. And this is also the perfect product for those who are trying to gain some weight because in addition to your daily intake of calories from your food that you eat along with the protein shakes such as this, you can mix about half a serving in the morning with some milk or water and then another half at night and that'll give you another 650 calories just from the product alone. 
Now the serving size for this is massive. Let me show you what the scoop looks like. It's literally one cup, so that's why I say mix half in the morning, half at night, and you'd be good to go. But like I said, taking half of that in the morning and half at night along with your breakfast, lunch, and dinner and your protein shake, that's really going to help you put on some pounds quickly just as long as you're going to the gym and working out at the same time. Now these, if you're going to go the whole serving at a time, I wouldn't recommend using a shaker cup just because the serving is so massive. You'll want to mix it in a blender and when you do that, you can mix in additional foods with it such as peanut butter, oats, you could throw in a scoop of protein, a banana, um, whatever else you can think of that might taste good with it and might add on some additional calories. And because this thing has such a massive serving size, it only comes with 14 servings per container. And these things aren't cheap. So you really have to take that into consideration if you plan on starting out on a new weight gain program. But overall, like I said, these two products are must-haves for those who are trying to gain some weight. All right, so hopefully those very quick product summaries kind of give you an idea of what kind of products I'll be using on a daily basis during my weight gain journey. Now, like I said, some of these products might not be for everybody. I know a lot of these were off-brand products as well. So it's really just a matter of finding your taste and adapting to what kind of products work best for you. And one more thing, most importantly too, is that I am no professional. I mean, I am still skinny. It's just that these products have worked for me in the past, which is why I'm using them again. And I really just wanted to share them with you real quick to give you guys an idea of what kind of stuff I'll be using on this journey in addition to other videos that I'll be producing as well. So I guess all that's left to say is if you like what you're seeing so far, make sure you hit subscribe and follow me throughout my journey.